Good evening, I'm Bull Spitzer. Welcome to Faux News. Tonight on the Snooze Hour, we'll be talking with an independent military analyst in order to get an accurate, unbiased assessment of what's really happening with the U.S. wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Stay tuned, we'll be back in a moment. And if you believe that one, I'd like to talk to you about a bridge I have for sale. Welcome back to Faux News. Tonight we have with us retired Army General Curtis Mayhem. Since he's retired, we can rely on General Mayhem to give us an accurate, unbiased account of what's happening in Iraq and Afghanistan. General Mayhem, welcome to the Faux News Hour. Well, thank you, Bull. I'm pleased to have been invited. I'm also pleased that you're sending me a check for my appearance tonight. General Mayhem, since you're retired, as I said, we can rely on you for an accurate, unbiased assessment. Let's begin with Iraq. How are things going in Iraq? Bull, oh, the surge is going great. Just great. Why, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Our commander-in-chief made a good call on this one, and our brilliant General Petraeus has really pulled it off wonderfully. The surge is going great. But General Mayhem, what about the entrenched Shiite militia insurgency in Basra? A recent attack by the Iraqi army resulted in nearly 1,000 Iraqi soldiers deserting their posts. Bull, Basra is wonderful news for us, just wonderful news. Now that we've seen the Iraqi army in action, in combat, we know just where to focus our future training. As the Iraqis stand up, we'll stand down. But General Mayhem, 1,000 of them ran away. And that's just where we'll focus our future training, Bull. We'll be teaching the Iraqis that you can't win a battle if you run away. That's where we'll focus our future training, and it leaves me very optimistic for the future. Let's turn our attention to Afghanistan, General. It's a paradise, Bull. Just fine paradise. Afghanistan, everything's going great. Just great. Best thing since sliced bread. I'm really glad to hear you say that, General, because news reports from actual journalists have been painting a pretty grim picture of things in Afghanistan. But since you're retired, we know that you're giving us an accurate and unbiased account of the way things really are there. I'm glad to be able to help out, Bull. I'm as unbiased and accurate as they come. Oh, and just keep those checks coming, okay? Okay, hold it, stop, cut, 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 cut. Now listen, just because this guy is retired from the army doesn't mean he's retired, he still has a job. Most of these military analysts have jobs. You know who they're working for? Defense contractors. And these gigs on CNN and Fox and MSNBC are gold mines for them. Absolute gold mines. They get access to the highest levels of the Pentagon. They sell their contracts. Then they get told what to say on CNN, Fox, and MSNBC. That's how it's working. This is not unbiased news reporting. This is propaganda straight out of the Pentagon. Now, it's one thing for the Pentagon to be running a propaganda machine with our tax dollars. It's another thing for CNN, Fox, and MSNBC and the like to be hiring these people when they know full well there's a conflict of interest. It was the news media that let us down, that led us into this war, and they're still doing it. They're still broadcasting lies. This program started years ago, even before the Afghanistan war. It was thought up by a high-ranking person at the Pentagon by the name of Linda Clark. Guess what she's doing now? Yep, she's a network analyst. Ah, I give up. General Mayhem, thank you for sharing your experience with us tonight. Coming up in our next segment on the Snooze Hour, we'll have an accurate and unbiased assessment of our country's economy with retired Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan. Stay tuned, we'll be back after this message from our sponsors. You're tuned to Pentagon News Network, PNN, the most distrusted name in news.
I'm Paul George, here to tell you Orwell was an optimist.